Remember to rate and subscribe. Hey, what's up, guys? Demanian here. Today, I wanted to share with you an awesome little application called Uno. You know. Uno you know is available for both Mac and PC. You can get it as a Firefox or Internet Explorer add on, or you can also download the desktop version as well. It is free. And what Uno you know allows you to do is be connected to your different social networking sites all at the same time, whether you have multiple accounts on one site or not. It allows you to get all your updates from those accounts and to update your status to those accounts as well, all from Uno. So I'm going to go ahead and show you their website here. You can find Uno at Uno.com. How about that? So here you see it's a Firefox and Internet Explorer add-on. It is free. We have the desktop version as well, available for Windows and Mac OS X. And it is still in beta, so there, you will find some things that you don't like about it. But for a beta version, this is a very good product. I do recommend downloading it. You can always leave your feedback here with them as well. If you've got a question, a problem, a praise, or an idea, you can simply send it to Uno. I'm going to go ahead and launch Uno now. So when you first open up Uno, this is what it looks like, except you won't have these little green arrows right here. And to sign into one of your accounts, you simply click on the account you want to sign into, and then you sign in. As you see, it has Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, LinkedIn, FriendFeed, Flickr, iMeme, AIM, Live Messenger, Yahoo Messenger, and Google Talk. All the green ones are the ones that I have hooked up. After you've connected one of your accounts, you can always select a second account by clicking on the green arrow and add new account. It's that easy. Uno you know, also has a web preview browser. It doesn't have an address bar, but you can preview the web there. And it does have real-time web search here, as you can see as well. If I wanted to search for something like, say, the iPad. You see it opens up in this nice, beautiful Uno you know web browser. You can also choose to open it up in your default browser right here by default or if you want to open it up in your default browser you can just click that button there as well and you see it uses one riot to do its web searches and we can also tweet our searches if we'd like we also have our different accounts up here we can switch between our different accounts right here in the web browser preview and go to our different accounts that way also has a back arrow here as well really cool thing I like about the web preview browser is that we have this little share button up here. If I click on the share button, you see we can share this whole page or we can select something from the page and share it. We can select multiple things. If you want to select a picture, you just hover over it, it turns green, you click it. We do get live feed right here, kind of like growl notifications. You heard that was a Yahoo message that I just got right there and it tells me, it makes a little sound so I know. You don't get to choose where this box goes, but you do get the box. It'll also tell you when you get new updates and things like that. And if we want to select some text, we just click, drag, select the text, and we can share it as well. When we're done, we just click up there. We can choose right here which sites we want to share it with. we got my MySpace, my Facebook, and my Twitter. We can add a comment. We can like it if we want. We can dislike it. And we can also add funny. And we just click share when we're done. That is the preview web browser for you know. Now we get into the actual application itself here. After you've done connected all your accounts, you just click finish. And this is what you will have all the time. This is your main browser spot. You can click this arrow, bring it down for the rest of your accounts. You see it does update you with your messages. There's 31, I got 36. We have our different icons up here at the top. We can click and drag to organize these in the order we want them. We can click on each icon to view our updates for that specific social network, or we can click the all icon to view for all of our social networks at one time. And you see it shows little little icons for each different social network. There's Facebook and there's MySpace. And we also have different tabs here as well for each account. So if I'm in my all tab, I can check all my updates here. All the yellow ones are the ones that I have not read yet. And you can just scroll down in here to view them all. When you get to the bottom, it will add more just like that. And you can go through as, down as far as you want. See, we have over here, I have all my friends. It shows your friends, shows who's online with the green little dots there. We have our instant, our IMs. You can view all our IMs from different people. You know, all the people would go right here, so we can click on the different people when we have multiple people. And here's our notifications as well. So I can click on Twitter if I want just to get my updates from Twitter. We go to my updates tab. See, we also have uh, options down here. We can reply, retweet, and bring down more options. We can send a direct message, view the tweet, profile, translate via Google, unfollow that person, add them to a group, or hide updates of Chris Prillo or whoever is there. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you the language converter here built into Uno. You see here is a tweet 
about the iPad that is in Japanese or Chinese and I want to convert this to my language. I'll click on more, go down to translate via Google, it highlights it and then it translates it. We also have our different tabs as well. There's our friends, here's our, our direct messages, these are our at replies, our lists, and we can also search Twitter as well right here. So again, if I want to search for iPad, it'll actually search for it right here in the application itself. Again, this is the desktop version, so it is still in beta. One thing that I do not like about Uno you know, is the fact that when you get people's statuses come up, you can't actually go on there and reply to their statuses like on MySpace or Facebook. One thing I do like about it, though, is if you're getting a bunch of notifications from somebody and you don't want to receive those no more, all you have to do is click on the more. You go to hide updates of this person. You just click on that. And as you see, it automatically took all those updates of that person off of here. If we want to get those back, we can go into our options here. We want to find the account that it was hidden from. So that was my MySpace here. And we go to show or hide. So we can unhide them if we want. We can open it up through the Uno web browser. And it integrates very well with your other web browser as well. You see, I'll just open it up real quick. You want to open up one of your accounts. You just click on the account you want to open. And you can click on this box right here. Or you can click on profile down here as well. And it will open up in your desired web browser. So you see I have that open. If I want to open up my Google Chrome web browser, see if I were to click on you know, it's show this browser. And you see it's actually... Over here still, these two aren't connected. The application and the web browser preview are not connected, so I can still go back to this one or I can go to this one, and it's not going to bring up both the web preview and the application. Works together very nicely. Another great feature that I really like about uh, you know is we can go to our all box over here. We can come down here. Um, by default, you'll have to click on all networks. You can type right here whatever you want to tweet or send out as your status. And you can check the box by which ones you want to update the status for, and you just click Update. And it will update all your different accounts at one time, all the ones that you've selected. You see, it's done. We have our options here as well. If we want to go click on this button, we can go down to our options. And we have some different options here for, we have our global settings. These are like pretty much tabs up here. You can have all sounds active. You can have it do an auto away after however long, 10 or 20 minutes. We got our pop-up alerts here. We can choose our sound right here. I like, I like the uh-oh. We can receive a new instant message. These are our pop-up alerts. Whenever we get a new IM, they'll come up down in the bottom right-hand corner. Our friend status online changes. We can turn this off if we want, or we can just do them by group. You can also upload here as well using YFrog. And it's got some other services here as well. And you can visit their websites if you don't know what they are. Then we got our all right here. We can choose the size of our avatar. You see it changes over here. You watch, I'll click the smallest size. You see now it's the smallest size avatar. I like the large size. And you can have it display your offline contacts as well. Then we got our tab for Twitter. And you notice in each one we have different tabs. So you can go through yourself and check those out. Twitter, we have our avatar. We have our updates, our show hide, our groups. It's really cool if I go to all. And I go to groups. It has all of our friends from all of our different networks, and we can put them into groups. This is one from MySpace. This is one. This is the same person in Facebook. I also have Chris Perillo here for my Twitter. So as you can see, these are all my contacts from all different ones. You can just click on a few if you'd like, and you can click create a group, and then you can name your group, and then click create. Also, if you'd like to learn more tips and tricks about Uno, you, know, you can visit blog.uno.com, and they also have a YouTube channel here as well. And again, there'll be a link in the info box for both of these. So there you go. That is just a quick run through of the application Uno. You, know. you can download it again for free at uno.com for both Mac or PC. You can get this as a Firefox add-on or an Internet Explorer add-on, or you can get the desktop application itself. Remember, all links will be in the info box. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments down below. Remember to rate, subscribe if you like the videos, and we'll see you next time.